Firstly, thank you so much for coming out today. Make no mistake, for many of you, I know this is a really poignant moment. It is for my colleague David. It is for me as we remember the service people that we have officiated for their funerals. Jesus said, Greater love have no one than they lay down their lives for their friends. And as we reflect on those we know who have lost their lives, we know that that is true. But I want to, in this moment as always, point you to Jesus because he didn't just say those words, he went ahead and did it. And in doing so, he opened the possibility for all of us to defeat the power of sin, the mess that we make in our lives, the evil that is in this world which is palpable and we can't avoid, to, to defeat the power of sin and to defeat the power of hell once and for all, that all of us might know the friendship of God. And so Today we remember the names on our memorials. We remember those whom we love. We remember those who we don't know. And we give thanks to God for them all. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrow we gave our today. Before uh, you come and place your crosses, uh, before memorial, some prayers. The first is a prayer that we say every Remembrance Day, uh, you haven't got the words, so if you can, make this your own. Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all mankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit. Give us wisdom. Give us courage. Give us hope and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. Amen. The response to the thanksgiving is uh, thanks be to God. We offer to Almighty God our thanksgiving for the many blessings with which he has enriched our lives. For the Queen and her family and all who under her bear the responsibility of government. Thanks be to God. For those who serve in the armed forces of the Crown, on sea and land and in the air, thanks be to God. For doctors, nurses, chaplains and all who minister to those in need or distress, thanks be to God. For the unity of our people within the Commonwealth, thanks be to God. And for the sacrifices made, whereby our peace has been preserved. Thanks be to God. And for the Royal British Legion, thanks be to God. And so because I know that people will take time over the next stage and, and will want to wander off. Um, don't wander before the standards leave, please. Uh, but the final blessing. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all mankind, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Standard bearers, order, standards.
morning. Welcome to this cross the ceremony in the churchyard of our baby. In this graveyard, there are quite a few <coughs> war dead, both British and Polish, and also from the First World War and the Second World War. So today I think we remember them all, but especially the Polish people. Can I ask, are there any Polish people here? Excellent. Thank you. The reason is at the end, or near the end of our service, I would be really grateful if you could say we are Father of Polish. If you would wish to, while everyone else can say in English, because I'm Irish, I'll say it in Gaelic for all of the war dead from Ireland. Almighty God, who had, has promised that they who wait upon thee shall renew their strength and mount up with wings as eagles, we command to thy fatherly protection all who have died serving in the Polish Air Force during the Second World War. Uplift and support us in our endeavor that we may be a safeguard and a true defense to our homeland. Help us to fulfill our several duties with honor, goodwill, and integrity, and grant that we may prove to be worthy successors of those who by their valor and sacrifice will be served their day and generation through Jesus Christ. O oh God, by whose mercy and our faithful departed find rest, bless all the war graves in this common place. Send your holy angels to watch over them and give them comfort and hope to us who mourn. Amen. Lord, in our grief, we turn to you. Are you not the God of love always ready to be our prize? Listen to our prayers for your children, whom you called out of this world, and lead them to your kingdom of light and peace, and part them among your saints in the world. For the President of the British Legion,
let us pray in the way that our Lord has taught us to do so in our native languages. Our Naha, Tar Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful, you are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in us. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of the Son of our Lord Jesus Christ, and ask Him to bring peace upon this earth. May the Lord keep you and your families here on earth and in heaven and all those who have died in all conflicts in his path. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.